Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a Broadway Limited Paragon 3 release. It's the New York Central S1B 484 Niagara locomotive. That's what they're better known as, is Niagara's. This is number 6002, and right there is the item number if you're looking to purchase one of these. It's 5830. These locomotives come completely assembled. It means coupled and everything, the tender and the locomotive. So what you have is a really long box. Let's unbox this locomotive next. All right, slightly in frame, I believe, to lift the lid off this. Show you what's inside. There's a manufacturer defect notification. Talks about the warranty as well, one year warranty. Exploded parts diagram, in case you have any missing parts, you need to order some, operations manual. If you have any Broadway limited locomotives, this is the same it's been for the last couple years. Uh, at 30 pages, gloss, very nicely presented. But the locomotive is what you're here for, and the locomotive is what you will get. And I always have a 50-50 chance of getting this upside down, it seems like more often than not it is. So we'll pull the locomotive out. Get this long plastic sleeve here. So the sleeve, when you pull away, it pulls, releases basically these side brackets. So those will pull away as well. In the bag, traction tires and a tool to take off the tr wheels so you can put on traction tires. Then you get a little dummy coupler. Locomotive itself, all one piece. Kind of difficult with camera positioning to pick this up. I get roasted by a few of you guys about how I handle locomotives, but you gotta understand that the camera is in the way. And this thing is huge, it's kind of hanging off the turntable, so we'll get it resituated and go over some details. Alright, with a little help from their large box, I am able to put the whole thing on the turntable here and swing it around. It's going to line up the tender a little better. But let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look at some detail. Alright, on the front, you see some molded in plumbing on the smoke box door, headlight, which is LED. Road number and New York Central badge right up front. These smoke lifters are to each side of the locomotive. And then on the front, coupler cut lever pilot with a metal coupler with a magnetic glide hand. And you've got accessory hoses there. A little step area. Inside, if you peek just past the smoke lifters, you can see crew access area for the crew to go up to the walkway. Smoke lifter needed just a slight adjustment, now it's in place. Up top, whistle, smokestack, some more plumbing going back to the boiler dome. Lots of detail along the side as all locomotives, all steam locomotives have with the eccentric crank, side rods, Got four drivers, so this is a 484 locomotive. On the back, lots of detail on the firebox as well, with some plumbing, and I'll try to zoom in on that. And let's not forget up top, you've got some safety valves. So firebox has a lot of plumbing, crew figures are installed on this. There's the tread plate which is nice and even with the tender. The tender has some nice detail and I like when the tread plate's not at an unrealistic angle there. There's back head boiler, boy head, boiler back head detail as well, just hard to see from this angle and crew figures on each side. 
Be able to spit that out eventually. And more plumbing running all the way down the trucks here. So far, a very highly detailed locomotive. As we look at the tender, nice realistic coal load. Kind of a hard texture to it. And the rear of the tender with a rear light. Crew access ladder and grab irons. Lots of detail around the coupler. Looks like we might have had a coupler a little more open than normal there. Coupler cut lever. Pretty good detail all along. Give you a quick look at the other side here. So you can see a lot of plumbing, a lot of underbody detail, or just just below the walkway. You've got an air horn mounted there as well. So lots of detail on this locomotive. I take it the New York Central locomotives had an air horn and a steam whistle option. So I'm seeing that on this Loco Broadway Limited, pretty good, especially on their steam about being prototypically accurate. Builders plates are tucked away behind the smoke lifters there as well. So that's a 360. Let's get this thing moving. A couple different ways to start the locomotive on the Broadway Limited, and that is either simply moving the locomotive or the extended startup shutdown sequence, which is F9. I usually randomize this in reviews. We'll go with F9 this time. Alright, we'll just go over what that was. You heard the engineer walking up to the locomotive, starting the steam process up, and then eventually you heard the dynamo spool up, and I watched as the headlight slowly lit up. Now, just like the real dynamos that power the electronics on the locomotive, such as the headlight. I have to show you a different angle for the headlight to really show you what that looks like. But we're gonna go ahead and move this at uh, one, or, I'm sorry, we're gonna go through the sounds first. And we'll start with the bell. Whistle. Alternate whistle, which is F-22. That's that air horn, so Broadway Limited. Sticking with the prototype here, giving you both the steam whistle and the air horn. Very cool. We'll go back to the steam whistle for the default setting here, but here's coupler slack. Gotta move it. You see that puff of smoke, that synchronized puffing smoke. F4 air pump, which you already hear going a little bit. F5 when stopped is blowdown. Sorry, I accidentally hit a button there. F6. Water fill. F8 mutes the volume. You got the coal shovel, shovel or auger on F10. We're going to stop with that because there's so many different sounds. Up in the higher functions like F14 through 21 are a whole series of background sounds. And those are really neat as well. The, there are also a macro. There is also a macro where you can play and record different sequences. 
So that's neat as well. Those are track sounds you're hearing there. That's F23. That's a new feature that I haven't seen listed before. I don't know how long it's been there, but I'm just now catching this. So F23, you hear the kind of the clickety clack. Uh, a little more realistic on this locomotive than some of the other ones I've heard. So that's it for functions. At least that we're going to cover. I'll go ahead and move this at one speed step. Four chuffs for a revolution, which is correct. One speed step, pretty smooth outside the box. Right out of the box without any break in. Pay attention to those side rods. You can see how smooth it's moving at two now. Three. Four. And five. Reversing. One, two, three, four, and five. So we're moving along very nicely, forward and reverse. You may be hearing some rumbling sounds because this microphone is a Dolby 5.1 it's picking up everything it's not coming from the locomotive that is my neighbor's landscaping going to town right now with a mower so <laughs> that is it it's very low but I didn't know if you could hear it or not so I didn't want you to think that was motor sounds go ahead and check pull test pull test on this locomotive they're always insane with Broadway Limited. And... Nothing has changed. It's jumping from 8 to 12. So even if you average it out to about 9, what you get is an insane amount of pulling power. That is a uh, hundred and thirty-five pieces of HO scale rolling stock. In theory, that this should be able to pull because every ounce is about fifteen cars. Rear coupler looks dead on. Check the front. I don't re recommend moving the locomotive like I did because. Sometimes it can affect the traction, and this has great traction. But you have to have the power off because this is metal. I should have gotten a plastic one. That looks dead on too, so NMRA compliance with the coupler height seems dead on. Check the wheel sets off camera. Those are good. And it has really great pulling power. So, so far no dings with this locomotive, no flaws that I can notice. Well, that's going to do it for this bad boy locomotive. The Broadway Limited Niagara. As I just mentioned, not much I could find, not much of anything at all in terms of flaws. Everything works, operates great, sounds good. You get the air horn and the whistle just like on the locomotive. So that was one thing I wanted to take a look at. The tread plate on the walkway lines up nicely with the coupler or with the tender, which is not always the case with locomotives. So overall, really nice. And great for you New York Central fans. I can't talk today. I'm going to leave you with a run-by with just this locomotive. I don't have much to go with it anyway. And I'm boxing up rolling stock as the move progresses. The move preparation progresses. So we'll see you guys next time right here on my channel. Have a good one. Bye-bye.